All right, let's look at uh, one of the errors that people sometimes get with strings and dates, and it is the conversion of a var card data type to a date time data type resulted in an out of range value. Okay, so the first thing uh, in this particular process, going from an int to a var card to a date is a complete waste of resources. If your application is designed to do that, correct that immediately because it should either go from a var card to a date or an int to a date, but you shouldn't waste time converting it and then converting it again, okay? Now, you must still validate your int values, okay? Or your var card values. Keep in mind, if you're going to do this, and, and it, this is a really stupid way to do things, um, SQL Server isn't going to catch that you're passing in an invalid integer if your value is 2015-0231. Uh, there is no such thing as February 31st, right? But to SQL Server, that's a valid int because that's 20,150,231. That's, that's a valid integer, right? And of course, the most expensive filter is going to be um, ad hoc or after the fact. So there's, there's one or two errors that you'll get here. Um, in the particular case that I'm thinking of, I got the out of range error, but sometimes you'll get this other error. You'll see that uh, February 20th converts fine because we all know that there's a February 20th. If I were to put in 31st though, we're gonna get that, we're gonna get a failure, right? Because it can't convert that, that's not a valid date. If I do the 33rd, same thing, right? If I pass in June uh, 31st, same error, right? So when it comes to data validation, first of all, you always wanna do your data validation up front. And then the other piece about data validation as well is if you're going to use something like an integer, then you have to realize that that is a valid integer. What I just looked at there, which starting out, if we go back to that, it's starting out as an integer. And in this case, it was they convert from an integer to then they convert to a var car. Okay, this is, this is a waste of resources, right? Because now you're going to have to add another resource to validate your integers. All right, I mean, the, the best thing to do is to be using a date from the beginning, but if you're going to stick to using an integer, which is very poor, it's kind of like the people who had the, what is it, the Y2K bug, just dumb, you know, do it right to begin with, then you can get around this error. But if, if it's not developed right to begin with, then of course, people end up chasing their tails. And this is a perfect example of where people are chasing their tails because they're going from int to var car all the way down to date. And this right here is a valid integer. It is not a valid date, but it is a valid integer, which is going to limit what you're going to be able to do uh, unless you build in some logic. It's going to actually have to catch that even though it's saying that this is an integer, that that's still an invalid integer because there is no 0231, right? So there's going to have to be a lot of alt logic built in there. It's the same thing where, um, for instance, Let's take that same number, 20,150,000. What if I said 244? That's a valid integer, but that's not a valid date. 